Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do an Eclipse Energy reading for you. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is just a message that I am picking up from my guides for you for this Eclipse Energy. What is this Eclipse going to do for you? So, we're just going to see what comes up. This may or may not resonate with you. We're just going to see what comes up. What is this e Eclipse going to do for you? So... We're going to start right here. Dear God, angel spirits, and the universe, these things don't want to come together. They keep slipping. Something keeps slipping, so that's interesting. Well, here we go. So, all tied up. So stuck. You guys are stuck. You're tied into a situation that you probably want to get out of. You can get out of it, but you notice nobody's saying anything. You know, her mouth isn't bound, you know, it's not, she can speak up, but she's not. So we got somebody here that is stuck in a situation that they are allowing themselves to be stuck in. They're not making any moves, you know, not trying to get out of it. Um, maybe comfortably stuck. Maybe it's comfortable. They're not really comfortable. I mean, how can it be comfortable? It's not comfortable. It's not comfortable. So this, this eclipse is going to deal with whatever this is, whatever it is that you are not speaking of. You're not talking about it. You're keeping it to yourself. You're keeping your t lips sealed. Well, you know, that might come to an end. Now, it almost looks like she's a victim here because she doesn't look like she's too upset. You know, she may have a victim mentality. You know, she looks kind of coy, kind of cunning. Poor, poor me. All she has to do is speak up. This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with the person that, you know, is having this kind of mentality. No, no, fives are about change, not wanting to accept change, not wanting to initiate change, not wanting to make that choice. If somebody could make it for you, that would be great. Or for this person, whoever this person is. It's almost like waiting for somebody to come to her rescue. Come rescue me, please. Rescue yourself. So, what do we got here? And here it is. Ooh, it's a good one. It is safe for you to love. It is. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. We got some, and you know, you look at where those cords are. They're right across her heart, right across her chest. Some, sometimes subconsciously we keep ourselves stuck in situations to protect ourselves because it's safe staying in the safety zone staying in a mundane place because it's safe open your heart and you have a big heart I know that you do you have a big 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 heart but, it, but you know it's not all about everybody else. Sometimes you got to take care of yourself. And that's the problem here. That is what the problem is. And I know that's what the problem is. You have to take care of your heart. You have to do what's right for you. I know that's what the problem is. Open your heart to give and receive. Yeah, you give. What about receiving? Somebody is staying in a situation, you know, because it, it's like they're giving it all away and receiving nothing in return, thinking that that's okay. That's not okay. That's not okay. Anyhow, what do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? Well, I called this one Sadness. sadness 
We're going to read it. Five. Five, five. You know, you have to face difficult choices and difficult decisions to have change. You're going to have to face some conflict. Sadness. It's easy to swallow your sadness and hide behind a fake smile. Oh my God. And I can't make this shit up. I cannot. The fakeness is too much. It's easy to swallow your sadness and hide behind a fake smile. Yet sadness can open the door to your heart and help you access compassion this whole lineup open your heart <sighs> when you can truly allow yourself to cry and feel sorrow over the loss of a loved one a lost opportunity a broken heart or a friendship that's ended you cleanse your soul and allow your heart to heal crying and feeling vulnerable can be a sign of strength which demonstrates your connection to your body to admit weakness can allow you to know yourself, embrace your limitations, and evolve. Be willing to let go of the cold walls of protection you have created, which will make you feel empty and sick, which is what's been going on here. You don't need to get lost in your emotions. Just give yourself time to feel them and let them move through your whole being, cleansing and purifying your heart, body, and soul. You've got to follow your heart. I mean, I told you that before I even read this, before this card even came out. I know what this is about. Somebody's not following their heart because of children. Anyhow, it is then what do we have for Leo? Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this is discipline. This is strength. This is dominance. Take action. One step at a time. You could be dealing with this person or it could be you needing to be strong. Look at how strong this person is. Be strong. Take control. Do what's right. Protect yourself. But somebody's not taking any action. Look at the contradiction here. We got somebody here that may be dominating you. You know, maybe they see you as weak. Maybe you're allowing, allowing it. You may, be, you may be allowing somebody to control you or to control your life or there, there's no forward movement because somebody's not taking action here. It looks like it's you by the looks of things. No desire, no ambition, no drive. You know, but everything happens for a reason. There's a purpose. There's a purpose why things don't work out. There's a reason. This is a this is temperance. It says art, but it is temperance. This is a card of healing. It's a card of compromise. It's a card of balance, moderation. There's addictions here. There could be codependency. It's also a card of restraint. We have somebody here that is probably restraining themselves. But it's also a card of renewal. So there's an opportunity to make some compromises. Evolve, change. This is a card of evolving. It's, it is. It's a card of changing. It's about using your power, using your resources to change your, your, your path, the outcome. So you have the skills. And this is kind of like the Magician card. Yes, it is. This is a card of transition. You are going through a transition right now, but you have to, you have to work with it and not against it. Owning it. Taking your power. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Take your power back. 
unhappy sadness there's your sadness right there it's like you're being dominated but you're allowing it you're allowing yourself to be dominated by somebody else lack of strength could be negative thinking here now this is protect yourself and this is protect yourself you've got to protect yourself defend yourself you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, whoever this person is. It's a dead end. Page of Pentacles, reverse, says Prince of Pentacles. But it's a dead end. It's not going anywhere. This is a lack of focus, a lack of integrity, nothing stable, nothing solid. You could be dealing with somebody who has a wandering eye, somebody that is a player. There's something blocking you, blocking you from your life purpose blocking you from evolving blocking you from being where you need to be this is a blockage it's because you're just not finding that strength that you have to follow your heart oh well we got a rude awakening here we have a realignment that's trying to happen happen with the tower you can only fight the universe for so long holding on to a false sense of security somebody is holding on to something that is false it's a false foundation it's causing a lot of um upheaval inside you know inside of your chest inside of your yourself it's causing a you know disruption a, a inner disruption within yourself to hold on to whatever this is that is unstable it's insecure it, you know it could be an insecure home life it could be an insecure friendship it could be an insecure a uh, job but whatever it is it's something that is not stable it's not solid it's it's about to fall over it's about to break down it's about to crash you could be dealing with a scorpio um, you, whoever this is that you're dealing with, look at the fire. It's a something is a there's about to be a blow up. There's about things are about to come crashing down. Okay. And this is all happening for a reason. There is a reason. It's like they're trying they're trying to protect you. It's like they're trying to protect you from more disaster. They're trying to protect you from something bigger. But it's like you're just allowing yourself to be stuck staying in this place whatever it is this is this is protection this is a reason there is a reason there's a reason why things fall apart there's a reason why things don't last there's a reason because you have some sort of blessing that you are supposed to get but you have to take action you have to call it in you have to use your power you have to stand in your power you have to find your strength you have to protect yourself this is a card of protection this is a card of protection this is a card of protection you're supposed to go through this is a renewal this is a renewal it's time for renewal you're supposed to go through a renewal you know you this is this is a card of wish fulfillment you 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 have a bigger dream than this you have a bigger wish than this but if you continue to think negative and live in a sad state or live in a sad place then you can't get the wishes that you that you're dreaming of you have to take action as well you have to take the power in your own hands you have to make a move you can't just sit there and wait for somebody to come to your rescue you have to take action you have to find the strength to do so or you're going to continue to live in that sad state of false sense of security that sad state I mean I'm sorry it is what it is you have to take action you have the power you have the resources you have the ability you have the skills you can get what you want you can go after your dreams your dreams your wishes will be fulfilled once you wake up and you be honest with yourself and you cut yourself free from whatever it is that is blocking you from what you truly wish for you know this it's like the universe or somebody from above is trying to give you your wish they're trying to give you happiness they're trying to bless you but you are not letting them you're not letting them and it's probably because of fear you know it is some sort of fear um, of co I think there's codependency here too and maybe you need attention you know maybe you're dealing with somebody who gives you attention even if it is negative attention it probably is negative attention attention is attention so you know sometimes we would do anything and that can go all the way back to your childhood you know any attention is attention so maybe you didn't get attention when you were a child and so you're craving attention and so you're getting negative attention well hey it's it's attention right you know so you know this is this is blocking 
This is stop communicating, block communication, block whoever this person is, this fault senses. You need to block them completely. And that means sever all ties. And that means every fucking tie. But we have somebody here that will not. They will not do so. Um, anyhow, this is blocking, not moving forward. Feeling guilty. We got somebody here that is feeling guilty. Feeling guilty for protecting themselves, for defending themselves, for letting go. We do. You're feeling guilty. You're feeling guilty for going after what you want. You shouldn't feel guilty. You shouldn't feel guilty. You deserve the highest energy of all. You deserve love. You deserve love. Nobody wants to deal with a person that is holding on to something that is false. You know, nobody does. This is severing. You have to cut the cord. You have to cut the cord. So this is a dead end. Somebody is holding on to a dead end when they have an opportunity for wish fulfillment. This is in your external environment position. You have an opportunity to have your dreams fulfilled. A wish come true. So, Seven of Pentacles. This is plant your seeds someplace else. Relocate. It's time. There's no more growth where you're at. You deserve reciprocation. You deserve, that's that give and take, Six of Pentacles. You deserve it. You deserve to get what you give. But you have to invest you have to allow change. Somebody's in an unrequited love situation, whether it's with a father or a mother or a family member or a friend or a partner. It's not reciprocal. It's not love. And it's a and, and, and you gotta you gotta cut it. You gotta cut it. Whatever it is. So this eclipse is going to give you the opportunity to change to evolve, to accept, to follow your dreams, to go after what you deserve, to invest in something else, to go someplace else. This eclipse is energy is going to give you the opportunity to sever ties with whatever this is that you are not in love with. But you have to make that choice. This is a painful, stressful decision. You can avoid the truth or you can accept the truth. That's what each sword represents. The choice is yours. So you have a choice to make. Fives are choices as well. So this 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 eclipse is going to give you an opportunity to sever ties with somebody that or a situation that is not emotionally fulfilling for you you have the power right now to follow your life perfect purpose to follow your heart and get what you deserve they will bless you this is a blessing when you honor your truth and you stop blocking your emotions and you stop blocking the truth and you sever the ties whatever this is you will you will receive a reward you will receive a reward. A wish will be granted. But you have to find your strength to do so. You do. So, I feel as though you are probably going to be making a stressful decision during this time. I'm rubbing my chest. <laughs> Oh, see, and that's what it is. It's a painful, heartfelt decision, you know, to go follow your heart. Good luck. 